hello everybody and welcome back to my channel um thank you for joining me for this video i have some really amazing news to share and um i've been debating doing this video for a little bit um but i just wanted to come on and share the news so um as you're probably aware if you've been on my channel for a while if you've seen um, any of my posts on instagram um, I was accepted to do the cultural representative program which is where you go and work in Walt Disney World Florida in Epcot in the country that you're from I'm from the UK so I'd be going to work in the UK pavilion and you work out there for a year uh, basically being a cultural rep and I got the job back in December of 2019 um, my start date was the 24th of August 2020 and I'm pretty sure you can kind of guess what happened it all got cancelled, the CRP has been gone in the dust, never to be seen again, or so we thought, and uh, recently has sort of just started back up again, um, and it kind of came about, I think at the end of March, uh, there was a an email that went out that was like, cultural representative programs coming back, uh, we all freaked out a little bit actually, um, but they're only opening six of the pavilions, at the moment um uk being one of them very 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 lucky about that and um anyway i'm not going to talk too much about what went down because i'm sure you're all just desperate to know the news but we basically had to resend our old applications off um and then we attended a short video conference uh like presentation thing where they spoke about the program and any updates they did change a couple of things so they changed uh the housing because that's now flamingo crossing which if you haven't seen it looks absolutely amazing um and then they also changed the role for people who are interested in doing food and beverage so merchandise roles sort of stay the same um but the food and beverage role changed so they took away the service element from the job which upset a lot of people actually because um when you do the service role you get so much money in tips that people were just a bit upset i think they're a bit devastated uh, but disney wants to get the crp up and running basically as quickly as possible so they got rid of the opportunity to do service unless you were already an existing cast member whose program got cancelled in 2020 so um that was like the really major change um, and they were desperate for people to come out in August. Um, so you had to have like a one-to-one -one interview, which was fine. Um, it literally was like, a, for me, it was a five-minute chat, uh, just speaking about whether or not my situation had changed, if I had any had tattoos, like what did I want to do, when could I start all this? Um, and then, yeah, I had to wait like three weeks. It was a bit of a rocky time. I did record loads of footage in between that time and now, but I just don't think I'm gonna show you any of it, guys, not gonna lie. Like, it was not very happy footage and there was a reason for that. Like, everybody found out on the Thursday, like whether or not they had got a place and I still hadn't heard anything. Um, and I didn't actually hear back until the following Thursday because um basically there was a miscommunication and they didn't update my availability from being able to start in october to being able to start in august uh but then i woke up that thursday morning you know kind of groggy got to go in be a teacher for the day not feeling alive and then i got this it's my letter so i am going to be working in the disney uk pavilion at epcot my uh, start date is august 22nd i'm going to be working in merchandise with two of my besties which i'm very excited about um yeah i just came on because i wanted to share it with you i've been trying to tell everybody in my life um but I wanted a video to sort of mark this occasion. I, I mean, I've known about it. Oh my God, I think, for like, I think it might be only two weeks at this point, actually. I think I might be getting ahead of myself thinking it was a lot longer. It, it, it wasn't. I think it was only two weeks. But you know what? Oh, like, I've literally got the date on my email. It came through on, can we just have a moment for this? Fucking May the 4th, Star Wars Day. I mean, May the 4th be with me. It was because it brought me my bloody acceptance letter. 
so that's when it came through it's now today hang on because my phone has fallen down the side of the chair my the date today is the 21st of may and yeah so it was two weeks ago yeah two two weeks two and a bit weeks ago which sounds about right but i'm really excited uh we had to do a couple of things so i had to upload my covid documents um online uh just to say that i've been double vaccinated because i think at the moment that disney world are only employing you if you have been double vaccinated and then um you've also got to i had to just put where where like i would be getting my visa from because disney have to put that information through um and i also put i had to what else did i have to do there's something oh i had to pay my program fees which were expensive but totally worth it because it includes your first week's worth of rent and everything else so yeah i don't want to make a massively long video for this i just wanted to come on and sort of share the news um let me know if you're coming to disney world in the next year because uh please stop by the uk pavilion and come and say hi because this is great so exciting um and i also wanted to come up with a name so i was trying to be clever because my youtube channel name is once upon a page because i like the idea of like you know my name's page fairy tale books do you, do you see what i did there guys do you see what i did there so i'm trying to think of something though that would work for my my cultural representative program so i love claudia eats cake so she actually did the program in 2019 and 2020 and she was one of the people who got cancelled um and she has called hers the crp diaries which i really liked but then i was like trying to think of something original and i basically have i there was one idea i had which yeah this was my only idea but i don't know if i'm just perhaps doing the whole fairy tale thing to death um but it is kind of my whole personality at this point so i was gonna do um i was gonna call the whole series like once upon a crp but i don't know if that works so if you have any genius suggestions for what i could call my vlogging series um for the crp then please could you drop it down below because i need some creativity in my life but I just yeah i just don't know i can't I'm trying to think of something clever that's like got the disney element in it or fairy tale or you know mm, you know do you know what i mean i just like once upon a disney diary i don't know i just need something now sleeping beauty is also my favorite princess so hence the once upon a like once upon a dream you know it just keeps coming out um but yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. And I will be going just as the 50th is is finishing off. And look, a little Daisy. I brought her here with me. This label is obnoxiously long and unnecessarily long. But we'll let her sit here. This was from Megan when she went on her trip in March. So she can just sit here, the little queen. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to actually be seeing Daisy pretty much every week. That is going to be a complete lot of vibe. Um, I hope you uh, follow along on my journey anyway. Got many things to um, organise and sort out. I've still got my voice, visa, visa. What's a visa? Still got my visa appointment to go to, and obviously, I've got to get my whole entire flat packed up, which is just going to be insane. Um, and I've got to finish the school year of being a teacher. You know, like can't just end that abruptly. So still lots to do really not sure how i'm gonna pack for this um <laughs> i guess we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it i suppose i don't really know how that's gonna happen um but yeah like i said if you've got any name suggestions for what i could call my series of vlogs when i'm in this when i'm on the crp please please let me know because um i want to choose one from you guys if you've got one you don't have an idea that's fine i'll probably go with once upon a crp but we'll we'll think about it we'll have to have a, i'll have to have a little bit of a brainstorm um but yeah if you don't follow uh please subscribe to my channel there is hopefully gonna be a lot more videos i've still been really really bad i haven't finished off my paris vlogs 
Like the footage is just sat on my poor hard drive, just chilling, waiting to be uploaded. Um, and I just, this is from Christmas, I'll just point out, like the beginning of December. Um, and I just haven't sorted it yet. So um, I just need to get on it. But I just wanted to like, yeah, sort of come on and say, hi, my name's Paige. I'm 26, nearly going to be 27. I'm a teacher and I'm going to work in Disney World and I'm really excited about it. So yeah, let me know if you've got any uh, name suggestions for that series down below and I will speak to you all soon. Bye guys.